I wanted to make a quick video addressing more on the Alienware X series that they just released. Um, well, actually, May 11th, they had an advertisement that was talking about it. And from what I know now, and just reading articles, it sounds like it may have four USB ports, I'm not sure. And a couple different screen options. Um, it looks very similar to the um, the M series that they have. You know, the M seventeen, the M fifteen, uh, the well, the M four or the M R series, whatever you want to call them, like the M seventeen R two three four, M seventeen two three four. So it looks very similar to that. Um, it looks thinner has four fans, so I'm not really sure if they're going to have it cooler, because thinner, I would feel, is going to generate more heat. But, um, supposedly, it's going to be cooler. It's using a gallium silicone, um, I think they're calling it, like, Element 31 or something like that. And it's supposed to be cooler. We'll see. Alienwares are known to run pretty hot. But with the 11th gen processors, that might be where this might actually be a pretty cool machine. Um, would I go as far as getting rid of my R4 that I have now, or um, I mean, if, if you're gonna order one or if you've already ordered one would I cancel it and wait that's going to be up to you I personally don't like first models of anything just because there's always a design flaw or there's usually some sort of issue or bug that they're going to work out or try to fix um, and we've seen that with previous Alienware um, computers so personally it, it, it's going to be do you want to take a risk, buy something brand new and see how it goes? Or do you want to wait and, you know, because I'm just afraid you'd buy it now. And then let's say towards, you know, December, the end of the year, they're going to come up with a second version of it. That's going to have, let's say, um, let's say it's like a creaky hinge or something. And this is going to be a fix, or maybe there's going to be something really major like, I don't know, I could think of, uh, well, like an example, like my G3, a hinge issue or, or some a design flaw that they might correct in a, in a, in a second version. Um, so I, I don't know if I would personally get rid of my R4 or it, it's, it's really hard to say because there's tons of videos out there. I mean, the R4 whether you get an M17 or M15 out of the box, I mean, it's going to play games no problem. It is going to get hot, so that is where the throttle stop comes in handy. I mean, some people don't like that, but you have to, right out of the box, make some tweaks. But, I mean, right out of the box, it's not going to have the games you want. You're going to have to install it, right? So, that's how I look at it. And then you can just use task schedulers to have it automatically run in the background. And then it's kind of a set it and forget it. And it doesn't really take any resources to run. It, in fact, it makes the computer run better. So we know that the R4 series and even the R3 is a pretty stable computer. Um, and we know that for the most part, overall, they're the only... I guess the only con that you could give it would be its battery. And even if you have Optimus, your battery is still not really that much better. Yeah, you know, I guess four hours as opposed to two hours, but still. Um, and honestly, most of these computers, when you try to game and you're not plugged in, it, it's going to run like crap anyway, so... You might as well plug it in. But um, I would say, for me personally, before I would say, yep, I'm going to go out and actively try to get one, 
I would have to see a lot of benchmarks, a lot of thermal reviews, and uh, I'd love to get my hands on one, but I, I just don't have that kind of money. Everything I have in my videos is just computers I bought out of pocket. The X series definitely has me interested, and I, I'm I'm listening. I hear you, Alienware. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it will be a lot cooler. I think for me to actually actively want it, it would have to be one significantly cooler. And I have a feeling they're gonna lock like the undervolt capability and all that. I feel like that will be completely locked out, or there maybe you won't even have to. Um, I don't know if that right there would be a selling point. It would be nice knowing that you don't have to do any, you know, tweaks or modifications to make it run cooler, but um, I don't think that would be just necessarily a deal breaker. And even the better battery life, I mean, maybe the combination of the two, I, I, I don't know. Um... I guess I could opt for, you know, it, it's going to have a different ventilation. It's going to have four fans, so I don't know four fans, if that's going to be even louder since it's thinner. I, I just, I don't know. There, there's too many questions that I have and not enough answers. Do I wish that I would have waited? Honestly, yes, there is part of me that says, Tyler, you should have waited. And, um then made that decision whether or not this was something to get now or wait, but honestly, I, I really don't have any complaints with my R4. The video I made a couple videos back of the things I don't like are just literally nitpicking things. There's really nothing in that that would make me choose a different computer because of it. But, um, it's rumored that June 1st is when they're going to actually announce it. So I'm assuming then maybe they'll announce the models that they're going to come up with. Maybe they'll actually have it where people can order. I I'm not really sure. Um, it, it was just kind of a quick 31 second video that Alienware had that I saw and then reading different articles. But it definitely seems promising. I know those 11th gen processors are, are pretty nice. But like I said, we'll see.